we are back. Now the next story we have is about, I think it's Crystal's favorite fish in the whole wild world. And I also really have learned to appreciate it. It is tilapia fish. Now in Akosombo, where we have been for a few episodes, we were looking at young entrepreneurs. And we also came across a tilapia farm. So apparently what happens is there's a lot of tilapia farming in the region. So we went to see how some young entrepreneurs set up their own tilapia farm and how they're making money off of this. Come and take a look. Due to their hardiness and flavor, delicious tilapia fish have been a favorite fish to raise since ancient times. Tilapia thrives in a Volta lake in the eastern region of Ghana and as such, a lot of fishermen, young and old, rare tilapia for a living. Small-scale fishermen are popular yet on the other side of the Volta lake we found a huge tilapia aquaculture farm called Sonyo Culturing System. Owned by a Korean employing 40 Ghanaian staff, we were sure to find out how they managed to start their own big tilapia farm. We harvest the fish size by size. Okay. We have four sizes medium, large, regular, and economy. Okay. Where, where exactly would that be? Oh, yeah. All of it would be in here? Yeah. yeah. Then we, we convey it from the market side and outside to sell. Yeah. Alright, so if you can show me more. We harvest six cages in a month. And then six, uh, we have six 7,000 fish in each cage. Right. Yeah. And where do you supply your tilapia to? We sell it here, ourselves. Okay. So do people come from all over Accra and yes. all over the, the yeah. country buy. here yeah. to, to buy your fish? Buy. So today I can buy some? No. <laughs> <laughs> so there are special days. Yes. You have harvesting days? Yes. No, we don't have a, a specific day. Because Cost, one customer will come and take, will come and order the cage so that he bring the customers to come. Okay. What is the biggest challenge that you face here? Uh, no, we don't have any problem about the season. Wow. Yeah. So why shouldn't everybody be doing tilapia fishing? Yeah, tilapia, tilapia fishing fetch money. Yeah, you can bring, yeah, you can bring you. How much profit do you make every month? So many, I can't... <laughs> you can't disclose. Yeah, but sometimes one cage, it depends how the, the fish grew. Yeah, they are not one size. Yeah. Do they ever size. die or die of a disease or something? Oh, no, 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 we don't have. Wow. Yeah. And 100% so profit? Yes. But the farmers are complaining. The the ones that I, I talked on the side of the road, they have challenges to start up their capital. I mean, to build this thing, is it not expensive? Oh, it's uh, expensive, but you start, you start gradually. Gradually. And for instance, how do you get your tilapia, like the beginning, where do you get your tilapias from that will now be... Okay, we bought it from there. Uh, Astuari and Asham from the start. Okay. Uh, he tells us that there is indeed profit in the tilapia business, however, it's the starting capital that can be a problem. You are sure to lose out at the beginning, he says, but once it's harvest time, you are sure to reap the benefits. A few things you must consider to buy is wood, net, drums to set up, and of course the fingerlings, and then you rear the tilapia till they grow big enough. The male and female tilapias will crossbreed for you to get more. Feeding starts from 9 a.m. for three times throughout the day till 5 p.m. But it's not just about feeding for these 40 employees, but also maintaining balance. To grow healthy fish, they need to maintain a balance of pond ecology of fish feed, number and size of fish, oxygen in the water, waste that accumulates in the water, exchange rate of new cleansed water, and uptake of the waste nutrients by plant, duckweed, and algae. Uh, yes, sorry, Yebaha. Yebaha is 30 feet, you know. 
You know, feed you from 8 o'clock, 9. Now, you are stubborn. Okay, 10 30. If you don't to 11, then you are stubborn. 3 40, 3.40 to 5 o'clock. I just cannot believe how much tilapia they make on a uh, like no. monthly basis I and love, how love, big love they grew. But then the little ones too are really cute. You know I've always wondered if that's what also creates the one one thousand. Have you ever I tried one so. one thousand and Pepe and some nice <laughs> kinky by the side? Oh, it sounds good. Mm, but I tilapia. think those are the ones. So basically you're taking the fish that the other fish need to eat to mm -hmm. go bigger. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. I don't <laughs> care. I love fish. <laughs> Tilapia is my favorite. Mm. So, guys, mm, mm. <laughs> I could eat that. Anyways, let's take a break. We'll be back in a moment with some more exciting and fantastic stories. Mm. 